Robert Micron video and your Saints video. We're combining this afternoon with a joint commentary with myself, Ron Hoof for the Saints, John McDermott for Wigan, and uh, we're sharing obviously the match day commentary due to the match being shown on Sky. And uh, usually on the big events, you get poo pooed from the uh, main gantry. We've managed to secure a spot on the gantry this afternoon. But to me and uh, John McDermott are in the press box. But it's the First Division a Premiership Final. As it's just been announced, the champions, Wigan, against the runners-up St. Helens. Say it's just runners-up on points difference. The 19th year of the... or the 19th season of the Premiership Final as we know it now. And two great teams contesting it. Wigan going for the Grand Slam, looking for their fifth trophy in a season, uh, another feat that will never be equalled in the modern day rugby, I wouldn't imagine, especially after Wigan, already winning the uh, Challenge Cup six times on the trot, the Championship four times on the trot, and what a great team they've got here. The Saints, supposedly underdogs, but uh, Wigan have been making their excuses so far this season with uh, so many players out injured, but I'm sure we'll have uh, a very competitive contest for this afternoon. Sean Edwards, the captain for this afternoon, for Wigan. Shane Cooper, the captain for Saints. A good game in prospect, John, especially with Wigan with the so-called injured players. Well, I've not really heard what you've said, Ronnie, because there was such a cacophony of noise. Such a rousing welcome when these two fantastic teams took to the field. The season started with the two best teams in the Rugby League meeting each other, and the season is going to end with the two best teams in the Rugby League meeting each other. Wigan cannot make excuses that got players off because that's what the game is about. You've got to play with what you've got. They have lost several internationals, but they've maintained that they can keep up the standard with the people that they bring in. St. Helens have also lost uh, Kevin Ward and Anthony Sullivan missing from the wing. So, with the teams about to kick off, it's St. Helens from left to right. Awkward ball off Wigan's feet to start off with. Bit of a shaky start. The tremendous battles we have between these two teams. Wigan now with the graft of coming away from their own 20 metre zone, no doubt these two packs, oh and there's a crunching tackle there will be no quarter asked for in this game we've seen some tremendous battles this season, Wigan getting pushed out coming away well, turning the ball back into the middle but St. Helens are on the toes now as they're trying to pin Wigan down on the 20 metre line, Sean Edwards taking the kick through and he's made St. Helens the gift of it Buster Donald now that has the ball for the Saints. Obviously it was all on, touched a player there in flight. And Sonny Nickel from the acting halfback moves quickly, but uh, we're going to penalise for offside. Referee Holdsworth quickly in there, penalising Wigan. Paul Lockling's head, they'll have a go for goal. And obviously early points uh, could be essential. As I said, it's the Premiership Trophy, formerly the Championship Trophy. It's the Saints 16th appearance, it's Wigan's 9th appearance. Saints have won 8 and lost 7. Wigan have won 7 and just uh, one loss. And uh, you don't need me to tell you who they lost to, do you? But Saints looking to put the record straight for last season's defeat. Where they had, uh, they had Wigan for about 50 minutes. And then the mighty Wigan opened out and crushed the Saints by 48 points to 16 and Saints looking to put that right this afternoon Paul Lockman, 65 goals before this afternoon's match 28 metres out it's gone to the left of the sticks and it's gone dead so the first chance there of points just going astray but uh, early days yet we're talking about just over two minutes gone uh, in the match can drop off, uh, drop out from the centre of the 20 metre line David Lyon up with the ball 
moves it over to the left wing Alan Hunt playing on the left wing Tony Sullivan out injured a late uh, change to the programme had an excellent game uh, last week did uh, Sullivan against Leeds in the semi-final but whatever the reason is he's not uh, out there on the park this afternoon so it's in possession and held down and as John said before the mighty Wigan they have uh, tremendous uh, strength in depth and uh, no excuses to be made lots of press saying about hollow victories if uh, if the Saints come through today as Mike Riley steps out of the tackle ex witness Tiger lad the last tackle of the sequence let's see what Saints uh, ploy is comes to O'Donnell he locks a high one it's a tester it is too far Aitchison picks it up and now Wigan will restart from the centre of the 20 metre line well played all been in the Wigan half so far the uh, defence is supreme as Wigan with a tap the big man Skerritt Cowie going to have to work hard a kick through at the play of the ball Wigan lucky they get regained possession ball still going referee going to signal back to one Wigan a little bit untidy around the play of the ball there St. Allen stabbed at it as it was being played Wigan trying to come through from acting half back and ground is going to be hard to fought for and thumping crunching tackles and the referee decided that it was a thump in the tattle and it's a penalty to Wigan 12 metres inside their own half the players met out there and Holds was none too happy Farrell left footed young boy not yet 18 Wigan now in the Saints half for the first time ball stitched up tight that's uh, one man at a time and here they come again back banging onto it Cassidy trying to come through hard Edwards lying out very, very wide away from the forward. And a strong tapping, but Wigan remorselessly pushing the way forward. Out wide, Edwards stretching the defence. But Saints are in the Wigan line out and easily stultify the move. Ball been dropped. Referee says play on. Hunt out on the left wing, proving a handful. Wigan came in hard on that tackle, but uh, great determination shown by Saints. And as we saw in an early contest, and now Wigan penalised for thumping in the tackle, and one hopes that tempers are controlled. Penalty then to Saints, Ronnie. There's John Skerritt, the man being dragged out, and he should have been dragged out just a couple of minutes, er a couple of seconds earlier. Uh, going rather uh, heavily in the tackle but I mean it is a tough body contact sport John and we mustn't rumble must we as long as it's not us that's getting the uh, getting the ammo but it is uh, yeah I'll say it is a high speed collision sport and we can only expect uh, the hard graft John Neal gets the ball out to Bernard Dwyer one of the most underrated uh, forwards in the game Dwyer and Gary Connolly here now probably have the uh, cherry and white on next season as Gus O'Donnell gets the ball away, Chris Joint, he back passes it there, it's tidied up by O'Donnell, Connolly has it now, moves it over to the left wing, Connolly driving up that wing, Alan Hunt coming in field, now that's acting half. Sonny Nickel, big powerful Yorkshire man, brings the ball centre field, 30 metres out, and Saints on the attack, driving it up, looking for the chinks in the Wigan armour, and there won't be many this afternoon, well, George Mann flicks it up to Andrew Farrer for Wigan. George just giving it away at the tackle there, but Farrer now in possession, John. Yes, Wigan rather fortunate there, and Farrer hurt in the tackle, but he brought the ball away well. A fire going into the middle of the field. Trying to inject some pace down into the centre. Dermot behind the play of the ball, a long love pass onto Farrell. Farrell straightening up. And a bit careful here between Farrell and Farrer. Martin Dermott. So good from behind the play of the ball. Wigan jinking away over the halfway line. There's some crunching tackling going on. Wigan pan up in the right centre. Jason Robinson out on the right wing. St. Helens moving in quickly. 
and Wigan hoists the high one for David Lyon, takes it well in his own 20 metre area, coming away strongly, trying to bounce people out of the way, but they hang on to him, and he has to succumb. Game not really got into a high gear yet, because the defences are coming in so hard, coming in fast, coming in so safely. Saint. Saints in possession, it's Mike Riley stretching up. Aitchinson there in the full-back position, but it's Edwards that made the tackle, and Saints are in possession now. This joint changing the point of attack, coming in the op on the opposite diagonal, and Saints in possession. Big John Neal powering forward. As we say, we've got uh, the powerhouse forward, Kevin Ward out for the Saints. A nasty compound fracture of the leg as Rapati chips it through. It's gone touching goal. And it was only uh, Tia Rapati there that uh, spoiled uh, virtually a clean sweep in the Stone's Bitter Man of Steel. Rapati voted the First Division uh, Player of the Year with uh, Andy Platt getting the Man of Steel. Unfortunately, he's out of the side this afternoon. And Jason Robinson for Wigan in possession. Good break there from the 20 metre line, take my Martin Dermott onto Robinson, who cut him from the wing. A fire now going into the centre of the field, but he's changed his mind. Wigan now moving out to the right wing, there was nobody over there, and Saints coming in hard, pushing Wigan back. Nearly all the play in the Wigan half. Wigan using the kick, long kick going behind David Lyon. David Lyon taking his own 20 metres. And he brings it forward up to Wigan as they close him down. He's still pumping those legs, trying to drive forward as Bernard Dwyer steps up at the acting halfback. George Mann, the first receiver. Solid tackling from Wigan, but Mann gets it away to Dwyer. Edwards comes in, completes the tackle. Also, second row, Mick Cassidy, he's in as well. And out with Sonny Nickel. As we said, no, uh, no place for the faint heart out there on this Old Trafford pitch. Nine minutes of the game gone, no score at present. Connolly from dummy half, into the clear, Connolly! Aitchinson to beat, Connolly takes him on. Riley stay well, being held down there is uh, Connolly by Aitchinson, but Saints from the acting half back uh, come away with it, but we're going to penalise for offside. I'd imagine Saints will take it quickly, go for the uh, go for the six points, will they? Shane Cooper's coming in, and he's going to ask Paul Lachlan to come up and go for goal, is he? But Saints have it, Shane Cooper's just. Uh, Sorting his side out, telling his troops just to settle down. And he wants uh, Paul Lockling to have a go for goal. A tough way through to the Premiership. And so Wigan, they played a, a lot more games uh, than the Saints. Obviously, with winning the uh, the other Cups throughout the season. As I said, they're going for the clean sweep. The Grand Slam. They've won the Lancashire Cup and they've won the Regal Trophy. Two trophies that the players, especially like Dennis Beck said, there was uh, non-entity, no competitions, he said. They didn't want to win them, but they'd take them, won't they? They've won the uh, league, the championship, and the Challenge Cup six years on the trot. Lachlan strikes it. It's the post. The ball's still loose. The ball's loose. It does go back over the line, and the Saints tackling. Force Wigan back over the line. It was Lachlan missing the goal. It hit the right hand upright, bounced out of play. Or bounced into the field of play, I should say. Wigan took the ball and Saints following up pushed uh, Wigan back over the line so two misses by Lachlan no points on the board yet 11 minutes gone and Saints in possession David Lyon breaking through 35 metres out Wire at dummy half again Saints put it in the centre field to your party he's brought down solid tackling there Cassidy one of the tacklers along with Clark Saints captain Shane Cooper been heavily involved throughout the season leading his troops as John Lee flicks it out to Dwyer just outside the 20 metre line Saints in possession Wigan defending George Mann breaks quickly the last tackle of this sequence for the Saints the ball with O'Donnell will he go for the drop? he does it's away it's waved away by John Holdsworth so the score, well, no score at present, and Wigan restarts with a tap from the centre of the 20-metre line, and Cowie, good yardage, John. Yes, St. Allen's 
Three attempts at goal, two penalties in the drop, one at the post, which nearly brought them uh, a try, but Wigan came away well. Dancing, jinking, fighting for every yard. Wigan forced the way almost up to the halfway line. St. Helens noticeably playing the ball extremely quickly. And it's uh, upsetting the Wigan defence. Wigan now spreading it across. Edwards handing it on. Wigan forced back down the middle. Turling through. Can't get the support in. And Saints under a lot of pressure here. As Wigan now, 10 metres out, they've lost possession. And Saints come away with it. Trouble here for Wigan. A Saints breakthrough. And that's danger for Wigan. Yes, Lachlan broke through. Alan Hunt come on his right, and the Hunt was steaming there. He thought that Lachlan could have got the ball. Obviously, he mustn't have been able to get the ball out. But it sits on the attack. Seesaw game, one end right to the other. Good break by Botica at one end. Putting Clark away. He lost the possession in the 20 metre area. And referee quickly in. A Wigan player hurt there with Sates in possession. Obviously going in for the hard tackle. He's come off second best on this occasion. Quickly in. Both Wigan substitutes uh, warming up. But the player certainly uh, well, moving a bit now. But uh, as he came in for the tackle, bounced down. And referee Holdsworth moved in very quickly. The sixth meeting of uh, these two sides uh, this season. Two wins to each side obviously two losses and uh, one draw in the Good Friday match <laughs> it's the Wigan player still being treated Dermot the hooker it is live wire hooker Dermot very quick from the uh, acting uh, half back at the play of the ball and uh, John McDermott, my co-commentator to, to this afternoon, or, uh, as we're sharing the commentary, as I said, the courtesy of Micron Video and uh, the spec on the gantry here with it, the game being uh, shown on Sky. But he uh, looks a little concussed. Referee Allsworth waves play on, sits, restart, and John Neal drives it hard. Solid drive from this big Cumbrian forward. Shane Cooper moving it up, and the ball spread quickly to the left. Connolly looking for support there, it's out to Alan Hunt. Can't take it. Connolly tidies up, but it's going to be a knock on. About a three or four man Saints wall there, just burying the play, trying to uh, put Wigan off the tactics, but it didn't go right to this time. It's a scrum down on the far side. It's going to be Edwards to feed, and a streaker. We have John just uh, to our left. And uh, rather him than me. Well, we've got a streaker on the field. Wigan will be very reluctant to lose Dermot. He's uh, gone back into the field, but he looked very badly shaken. And uh, a stupid fellow on the field. Referee should stop the game and get him off. It's spoiling everybody's pleasure and upsetting the players. Wigan. Stop that stone's bitter, John. I thought it might be... Uh, a many drinks, Charlie Black Label. <laughs> Referee John Oldsworth trying to bring him off. Someone been looking on the source. Well, uh, would you like to rephrase that statement, what you just said, John? But the policeman's gone to him, and whether he'll strategically cover uh, his private parts with his uh, Bobby's helmet, I don't know. Well, I don't know whether I'm short sighted, but I can't see anything. So Wigan then, we're back to this game, it's been a pity there, the game was getting nicely into top gear and uh, it was held up for the stupidity of somebody who's probably been drinking and he wasn't all that pretty a sight either. Wigan then on the halfway line. Game in very good handling, no scrummaging and the tackling absolutely solid and that's the fifth tackle as it goes to Edwards, he's a bit harassed as he kicks. Gets it behind, out onto Hunt on the left wing. Hunt who can be such a menace. International wingman, of course. Saints now, the big men coming away. Neil so strong and powerful. Big, tall man. Takes some handling and no doubt be a great battle between these front row men. 
And that's good back in up as Nichols goes sterling through. Nichols going for the line. Nichols still running. Yes, an excellent break from the Saints. George Mann onto Sonny Nichols just outside the 20 metre area. Saints moving it over to the left. Chris Joint powering his way forward. The ball's loose. Wigan have it back. But a great drive there. But uh, the last pass going astray. Wigan have possession. They'll uh, try and carve it down, bring the ball away. Botica stepping up, attacking half back. Excellent competitor, Botica. 180 goals uh, this season. Looking uh, to be the top goal scorer. He's got to beat Wazilu of Keithley, who has 183. Let's hope uh, he can do it. Farrow from behind the play of the ball. Edwards trying to get the team moving. Wigan tearing into the middle of them. Botica made a couple of good runs so far. To both sides losing the ball at vital times. Edwards decided he's going to have a run. Did his little kick. It didn't come off. He was snuffed out. Wigan line very flat at this play of the ball. As it flung back. A terrible pass to Farrell. Farrell caught in possession. Going to have to hand over. Well, that was an awful pass. That's where we're missing Dermot from behind the play of the ball. Farrell had no chance of taking that. Dwyer could... Dwyer has it now. Well, he had it and played it quickly. David Lyon now in possession for the Saints. Certainly an exciting game, and if it's as good as the other two games we've had, the Academy game, Wellington beating Hull 19-12, and the Divisional Premiership, where Featherstone just beating Workington 20 points to 16. Uh, this game certainly have a lot to live up to. Quick hands by the Saints. George Mann has it. Neil and Cooper involved. Then up to George Mann. Donnelly from dummy half. Making good yardage. Cooper was on his left. The ball's knocked out of uh, the player's hands again. And John Holdsworth says it's been knocked forward. As the Wigan looking to uh, keep the momentum up. The last time they was beaten in a major uh, cup competition was by the Saints in the Lancashire Cup 1984 when Saints had the great Malman Inga here and I'm sure we uh, wish we had them this afternoon there's no danger about that Gus O'Donnell there, John penalised for moving up too quickly obviously he wants to do well against his old club side today and we can take the tap not uh, really got the big Farrell's a good kicker but uh, he'll have been in the wall for a few moments ago Sam Panifer Nice side being able to get away from the defenders. Good tackling. Wigan almost through. Going through from behind to play the ball. A lot of ground being gained. Wigan will want to keep pressing on their advantage now as they go surging into the Saints half. Long passes stretching Saints, forcing Wigan back into the middle. An arm goes out, grabs a sleeve, and down Wigan has to go. Dermot trying to get his team moving. Little overhead kick by Botica, following it well. Hunt taking it beautifully, running cross field, turning and twisting, not going down with the ball, and eventually Wigan put them down. Yes, Botica chips it through. It was well taken by Alan Hunt, with the Botica burning down on him. But he weathered the storm, he came away, and now it's with Mike Riley. No score, and uh, nearly 21 minutes of the game gone. Certainly exciting. As John Neal is getting some lovely passes away this afternoon. Big prop forward. He passed it back to Sonny Nicol. He loses his footing and he's quickly closed down by Sam Panaper. Now it's Chris Joint. Running out wide, a contender for the Young Player of the Year, which was won by Jason Robinson for Wigan. As the Wigan spectators get behind their side now. The last tackle of this sequence. Tidied up by Tia Rapati, turns it back to David Lyon, who gets his kick away under pressure. So Saints just being harassed there, John, by Wigan, and it's now back with Jason Robinson. Saints a little bit untidy at times, and now it's Jason Robinson running into Connolly. Connolly having an extremely good game. Done some great runs in attack, Farrah moving it inside onto a fire who's cut in the middle. Nowhere for a fire to go as he bounces down and up. Dermot now seems to have recovered from his smack. Wigan forwards, whipping it back, throwing it anywhere as they go through. Farrell now coming down the middle. Farrell very young, but playing well in the second row. That's where St. Tellis might have the strength. Cassidy now trying to take them on. The fire coming up to acting half-back to Edwards. 
Edwards setting himself up for the kick. Cross the kick. Lyon having to go across for it. He gathered it safely. Edwards kick not finding touch. Wigan coming quickly, closing down. Alan Hunt from acting half back. Did it to uh, Paul Lachlan. The international centre three quarter. Missed the uh, half of the season with the uh, recurrence of uh, an arm breakage. He now wears a protective uh, cast. But that's the right turn for it. It's a protective covering. But now it's Sonny Nickel. Powering it forward, pushing the attackers off. Or pushing the defenders off, I should say. Nickel wants to get up quickly and play the ball. But a knock on given. Whether he was slightly impeded or not, it doesn't make any difference. Referee Holdsworth said he's knocked on. And that the scrum to be formed. About 12 uh, metres, we can say, inside the Wigan half. Well, Saints making some basic mistakes, playing some great football. Edwards getting it out. Wigan running wide, trying to straighten up. Saints defence across in the right place. Wigan coming hard and straight. Up to the halfway line. Wigan trying to work a move down the centre, trying to batter the way through the defenders. Edwards holding the ball, long pass coming out. Wigan try almost through. Lachlan defending well. Edwards now trying to prompt something, get something going. And with scrum down, and it will be Saints to put in. No, he's given the penalty to Saint. There's a penalty uh, to the Saints for crossing. Doesn't look all that bad for this position, John, but uh, referee Oldsworth moving in. David Lyon, a finding touch just inside the Wigan half. Another six tackles for the Saints to uh, build up a good attacking position. Obviously, they're in the Wigan half, and John Neal driving forward. Solid tackling the Harrell and Farrah. Combined to hold John Neal so he can't release the ball. O'Donnell and the Saints captain Shane Cooper working the loop movement there. And George Mann running diagonally. Touches the tacklers off, well taken by Lachlan. Looking for support, still driving forward. And on the Wigan side, Cassidy is going to be replaced as Chris Joint gets the ball away. An awkward ball there for uh, Alan Hunt. But now it's uh, Mike Forshaw John coming on uh, to replace uh, Nick Cassidy after just uh, 25 minutes. Tactical ploy, would you say? Well, I, I, I did think actually that Forshaw might have been the first choice rather than Cassidy. However, Cassidy had a good game. The semi final, so we've got another standing player for Wigan coming on to join Andre Farrell in the second row. St. Helens had a lot of possession and a lot of territory, but they've made some very basic mistakes with getting the ball out of the scrum. Jason Robertson, as he does so regularly, coming in from the wing to take the ball in between this scrum half and standoff. Always makes valuable ground. Wigan trying to fight the way out. A lot of booing and nine coming from the crowd. Forshaw and the touch judges on. Seen something, I think, in the tattle. Rupati was over there. And uh, two said talents played. It looks as if it's Rupati who's incurred the wrath of the referee. The way he went into the tattle, and so it will be. Referee signalling quite graphically out of the arm of the gone in. Farrell left footed, makes no mistake. Touch judge marks it just inside the Wigan half. Dermot to restart. Skerritt putting his shoulder in, taking them on. Edwards waiting first pass. Cowie wanting it. Cowie running a bit cross field. Stopped dead in his tracks. Don't put him down. As Dermot changing direction. Edwards a short one onto Farrell. Farrell's well taken. Now Wigan in the Saints half. A rare incursion. And it's a forward to do in the grafting work. Powering the way forward, great big tanks going in hard. Edwards, Edwards doing a run around, gets a pass in. Wigan did well to take it. Ball's gone loose. 
little bit over elaborate it's burned its way quickly down on it Saints coming away with it courtesy of Paul Lockwood good seesaw again 27 minutes gone no score last uh, week in the uh, Premiership semi at Nosey Road Saints and Leeds and we had uh, 40, 58 uh, minutes there before there was a score before uh, O'Donnell popped a drop goal over 27 uh, coming on to 28 minutes no score at present tightly contested final as you can expect between the Saints and uh, on Wigan now it's O'Donnell kicks it for touch Richardson lets it go it finds touch 10 metres from the Wigan line so a scrum to be reformed or should I say a scrum to be formed 10 metres in from the touch line and 10 metres from the try line Wigan to feed Wigan again with the back to the try line 10 metres out John Edwards coming round from the same side of the pack pack pushing and shoving and wheeling Edwards feeds, gets it out, he's going to keep hold of it, I think, happy to die with it and have the possession as Andre Farrell comes away quickly from the scrum, bringing it away for Max in our pack, that's it bringing away, got two yards, quick play, Dermot moves it inside, Forshaw, good run by Forshaw, new pair of legs on the field, Wigan line very close to the play of the ball, it goes out to Edwards, Edwards moving it wide in their own 20 metre area and Wigan not crossing the game line at all, Ball pin drop, referee lets it play on as Wigan bring it away, can't keep it moving. They were fortunate the referee allowed that to carry on. Now Wigan have brought that oh, great right by Clark into the middle, onto a fire, fire turns it inside, onto Edwards. Edwards is snuffed out, but that was a great break down the middle by Edwards and the fire. Wigan now hot on the attack, a fire hesitating. And Gaden knows where that's meant to go as Farrell puts it high in the air. It's going to bounce back to Wigan. This could be dangerous as it comes to a fire. A fire tries a drop goal and it's wide. Tap from the 25. Well, John, you know, I don't know what this fire's playing at. I mean, the speed this fella's got, and he should have just gone through there. He turned round, looked for Edwards, and uh, Edwards got tackled, and then we're going to lose lost a, a load of yardage in possession. But anyway, he tried uh, to have a go for drop goal, but it's Saints' possession. Good break there by Wigan, but it came to nothing. Good tackling by the Saints. Bernard Dwyer gets it away. Now Sonny Nickel just pushing the Wigan tacklers off. Dwyer attacked in half back for the Saints. Wigan lined up there with the referee Holdsworth. Cooper leading his troops, gets the ball away. Sonny Nickel again. He runs hard and strong, and he's running out wide a lot this afternoon. Bad ball there, Saint tidy it up. Chris Joint, looking for support. Rapati's there with him. He breaks out of the first line of defence. He kicks again, does Rapati. The first division player of the year drives it forward. Cowie's in there, Edwards in attendance as well. Wigan moving up quickly, and Clark on the referee's right as Gus O'Donnell tries to chip it through, but Farrell intercepts it. Suppose the idea was right from O'Donnell, but Saints penalised for offside as Gary Connolly came through the Sonny nickel on the floor, and Wigan tried to play the ball quickly. Well, as so often happens, a bad pass rolling along the deck disturbed the Wigan defence, and Saints took ordinary advantage of it came surging in and then another foolish pass gave it to Farrell who made a good run but Farrell of course in another three quarter and a bit of line on between the tackle player and the acting half pack now Wigan with a chance to mount an attack as it goes on to Cowie Cowie taking them on runs into trouble and dies with it on the 20 meter line Martin Dermott coming up out to Edwards Edwards holding it timing his pass Short one by Wigan, Wigan driving hard to 10 minutes out, 10 metres out. Wigan's first real chance to mount a sustained attack. They turned inside and the St. Tannins cover holds absolutely solid. They're going to have to defend hard here as Wigan throw everything they've got at the line onto Edwards. Edwards going on his own, can't get through, he's taken from behind and has to die with it. And the tackling fears. 
Lob passing by Wigan, change in direction, trying to go through the middle. And the diving over, ball's gone loose and comes to St. Helens. The pass was forward there, the final pass uh, for Wigan. But Skerritt did well, he built up a good head of steam, the Saints give him loads of room to work in. Passed it out and uh, it was forward. It's going to be a scrum down with the Saints speed. I think this is the first time that the Saints have had the feed this afternoon. As Dermott back in, quickly fed by O'Donnell, but uh, the referee wasn't happy with it. Saints will be made to uh, feed the scrum again. O'Donnell comes in. Comes away with it, comes across the face of the post. Post back, solid tackling by Wigan, quickly breaking from the scrum, Phil Clark. Now it's Gary Connolly. Jinkin about trying to uh, find his way through the very few gaps in the Wigan defence. Dwyer trying to go on his own, break through the first line of defence on his uh, hands and knees. Wigan line, line up and they say it spread it. George Mann, no way through for him. Tira Patty now, looking for the gap. This is going to be the last tackle. Referee Holdsworth, his left arm raised up. Cooper onto Lyon, gets his kick away under pressure, and it should be gathered safely. Aitchinson lets it bounce, and Botico actually comes up with possession. Well, Wigan made a most of sin there, but Botica recovered it. Wigan let the ball bounce and it bounced dangerously. Botica recovered and made a good clearing run. Jason Robinson powering his way forward. Tremendous run by Robinson. Gained a lot of ground there for Wigan. And Wigan coming back into this game now. Most of the game has been St. Helens. But now Wigan beginning to apply some pressure as Edwards going wide. Tries to go through and is sandwiched and cut down. Wigan with no possession in this last 10 minutes. Making it tell a little bit. Fighting away. Up to the 20 metre line. Now coming wide out the left wing, doing a run around. Farrell trying to dummy his way through, keeps the ball alive. Little grubber kick is going to be too far, I feel. I will be back to the 20 metre line. It's going to have to be a very delicately placed kick, John, if they're going to want to room in the in goal earlier, isn't it? With it being so narrow. With it being obviously a football ground, but uh, Cowie's kick there, gone dead. Saints will restart with a tap from the centre of the 20 metre line. No score at present, 35 minutes gone, and hasn't that gone quickly? Saints probably with uh, more of the possession, as we can say, in the first half, but it's Wigan that was taking the scrums, 4 to 1. And the penalties all shared at uh, 4 apiece, I make it. Up to the halfway line now, Shane Cooper, short ball to John Neal, drives in again, but a good clamp tackle there, prevents Neal from releasing the ball, and Drew Farrow the man in. Tira Patty straightens it up, flicks it back, Saints managed to uh, get the ball to uh, safe hands, there's a good tackle on Shane Cooper there, excellent tackle, just as he was going to release the ball, the last tackle of the sequence, Gus O'Donnell chips it for the corner. It goes through Aitchinson's legs. Did it actually touch him? The referee says no, it didn't. After a Saints player had asked him, and we're going to restart from the centre of the 20 metre line. Good bouncing ball there for Paul Aitchinson. We're going back in the 20 metre line. And it's Robinson doing the grafting work, not the forwards. Wanting to get up quickly. Dermot comes over. Dermot a short pass, and that was an infirmary pass. Wigan did well to hang on to that one. Forwards running cross field, and not to really penetrating at the moment. Martin Dermott on to Edwards. Edwards switching direction. Botic has had a good game. A good solid tapping. Nickel playing a very strong game this afternoon. Edwards, Edwards holding it. Farrell pushing them off. And he's buried on the halfway line in the fifth tackle. Wigan line offside at the play of the ball, and he's got caught. He didn't retire. He was standing in an offside position. A bad, bad mistake for Wigan to make. 
Yes, it is John, I suppose, I suppose a basic error, John. As you say, the, uh, a couple of these referees have been picking this, uh, this up. And in the Good Friday match, John, uh, St. Wigan, it was referee Oldsworth that picked one up against Alan Hook for uh, the same incident, wasn't it, John? Uh, offside uh, at, uh, when you're in possession. Anyway, it's a chance for Saints now to possibly open the scoring. Just over 20 metres out, no score at present. Saints moving it across, George Mann running strong, but the Wigan defence comes in quickly. Dwyer, out to O'Donnell, now Rapati, he gets the ball out to Lachlan, out to Hunt, can he squeeze in? Oh, plenty of Wigan defence on the far side there, but he keeps in play. Good tackling by Wigan, but uh, Alan Hunt went down well there. Inside ball, Chris Joint backing into the defence. Wigan urge to uh, line up on their own line. Ten metres from the line, so it's in possession. Cooper took it well, it's on to George Mann. Out to Mike Riley, he has to come back in field. Not a lot of room for him, excellent tackling by Wigan. The last tackle of the sequence, Cooper takes it blindside. He grubbers it through, Connolly, can he score? Yes, Connolly's in! Connolly goes in for the first try, the first score of the game! with only two minutes to the interval. It was the last tackle of the sequence. Captain Shane Cooper decided to run it. He brought it over to the corner on the blind side. He chipped it on the opposite diagonal. Gary Connolly went, uh, went through, picked it up cleanly, touched down and sits in the lead, the first score of the match. Connolly's 16th try of the season. And uh, John, the, the reckon this lad Connolly could be wearing cherry and white next season. I think the whole league's waiting because if he moves, about 20 other people seem to be lined up to move. Well, St. Helens have had a tremendous amount of pressure. Wigan looked as if they'd warm it. And Wigan have... Robert kicked through, Castleford scored with it, Warrington have scored with it. Ball bobbed about, and it was Connolly who was wide awake. Now, Lockley not been kicking well this afternoon. And this game been awfully close and awfully tight. And that will be an extremely valuable four points as Lockley hits it, and it's terrible. So, with some talent leading right on the spot, on the spot of half time, back to you, Robin. Yes, thanks, John. Yes, Paul Lockley is off, uh, off the boil uh, this afternoon. This two penalty. Uh, Conversions, that's what the drop goal uh, attempt missed from O'Donnell. And uh, let's just hope that Saints don't uh, pay the price, especially with the uh, Botic of the boot, who's going to kick off because uh, any kicks for Wigan within, uh, well, any anywhere on the field, and Botica can bounce them over, can't he? But uh, 40 minutes gone on the watch, just uh, playing in time added on for stoppage. Just a couple of uh, short stoppages. Especially the one to Dermot. As Wigan kick it off. Bernard Dwyer takes it. And he's bounced down quickly for his pains by Skerritt. The Saints, I suppose, uh, as they said, tactically, just uh, scoring at the right time, just before the half-time interval. Four points to nil. Nothing that, four points. In a final. The Saints spread the ball out. The ball's been knocked forward. As Tira Patty comes up with it. But... Uh, Loose play there again, John. Scrum down to be fouled. Wigan feed, and uh, Wigan should get possession, and can they score before half-time? Well, I feel if St. Helens haven't made the mistake, they'd have a lot more on the board. Wigan with it, Botica. Botica, short one. And the mauling and the tackle. Farrer, very guilty there, giving that penalty away, which led to the try being scored. Sam Panapa. So delighted when he scored at Wembley. Ball goes inside. Edwards, the general, a long pass. There's a gap if he can keep it moving. And a good tackle. Stops the Wigan move dead. Wigan now more in the game in the last quarter of an hour of this game. Running across field and getting skull dragged for the pain. A St. Helens came out like greyhounds out of a trap. And that's shaken Wigan. Edwards now handing it on. Botica, Vanneper trying to drive through to Edwards. Edwards hoists a high one for Lyons and Hunt. Lyon takes it, Lyon running it out. 
Good catch and run by Lyon. Yes, Lyon and Hunt going in for it there, and uh, they both looked as though they were going to collide, but Lyon must have shouted, came away with it, it's in possession. On to Alan Hunt now. Time running out in this first half. Well, there, just as I speak, we've had two and a half minutes of stoppage time played, but the half-time score here at Old Trafford in the Premiership the final is set for Wigan nil, a commonly try. Excellently contested final. Wigan without uh, quite a few uh, regular first teamers, seven they reckon in all, with seven internationals. See, it's got about four regulars missing. So a tightly contested game. We look forward to a pulsating second half just before a goal. If I could just give a, a birthday mention, a happy birthday to Andrew Moss. Well, Andrew Moss, as I know him, Andrew Thomas Moss, as uh, his dad's told me to uh, call him. He's 18 years of age on the 18th of May. Regular Saints spectator. Best wishes from mum and dad, your brother Stephen, girlfriend Lisa, your nana and granddad, all in A and D stand at St. Helens, and everybody else who knows him, and obviously all us on the Saints video team. And while we're linked with uh, Micron Video today, I'm sure John McDermott will send his best wishes along with all the Micron team. Anyway. Happy birthday, Andy, and we'll see you soon at six. Well, we won't see you this season, will we, with this being the last game? We'll see you next season. Happy 18th birthday on the 18th of May, and let's hope that Saints can pull it off this afternoon. The half-time score here is Old Trafford. Saints in the lead, four points to nil. Join us for the second half. It's going to be the 3.30 kick-off here at Old Trafford. It was round about four o'clock. And Saints in the lead at half time, four points to nil. And Gary Connolly scoring off a of Shane Cooper uh, chip through, well taken by Connolly, managed to squirm over by the line. Four points to nil. Unfortunately, Paul Lockman's goal kicking is a bit off, he's missed three. O'Donnell's missed a drop goal. Wigan coming out now for the second half. Both uh, coaches will have done some. Team tactical talking at half time with John Morney for Wigan, Mike McLennan for the Saints. And the rain coming down here at Old Trafford. But I'm sure it won't detract from the game. Already had a streaker on at the first half. And rather him out there than me. You're a Micron video taking uh, care of the Premiership final. Along with the Saints video team, both Micron and the Saints video are working in conjunction to bring this match to you this afternoon. John McDermott, your commentator for Wigan, and myself, Ron Hoof, for the Saints. Wigan to kick off. Paul Lachlan takes it in the in goal area, drives it up to the 20 metre line, where McGuire, from acting half back, scampers away. Tackling the Barrow on the tackle's end, but now it's with Sonny Nickel. Big block busting forward, being forced over to the touchline. He's making good yardage. That's Mike Riley up to the halfway line. Three tackles there from the kickoff. Chase pulling the ball back to David Lyon. Peppers it cross field. Jason Robinson coming up with it, Paul Aitchington there as well. But Robinson breaks out to Lockman's tackle. Does it the second time, but he's a lively character. Always trying to scamper away. Aitchington from acting half-back. Certainly looked a little uh, high there on Aitchington. He is a tall lad and go well, so is Lockman. But the referee says it's all right, so, I mean, Mr. Oldsworth said it's all right, John. It's all right, isn't it? Wigan in possession. Edwards bringing uh, Farrell on the opposite diagonal. Big second row forward. Approaching the halfway line, the last tackle of this sequence. An, an awkward pass. Panaper couldn't pick it up, but it's on to Jason Robinson. Cooper and uh, Rapati come to wrap him up. The last tackle of the sequence now. Sorry about that, John. With Edwards in the ball on to Botica. No problem there. Chris O'Donnell has it. David Lyon comes through the middle. Just brought down short of the 20 meter at the uh, halfway line. I do beg your pardon. Now it's Gary Connell. And the 
it over to the Alan Huntley. Coming to play on the uh, right centre position. This joint, very quiet this afternoon. As I say, it's quiet, he bursts through. A joint still. Hunt on his own side. Can Alan Hunt squeeze in? The ball's turned in field. Hunt released it. But I was just saying there, John, that Chris Joint may have been very quiet, but he burst through the out to Alan Hunt. He turned it back inside, but it's a scrum down. It's going to be Sean Edwards to feed. And Cron, Wigan back on the 10 metre line. Edwards puts it in. Edwards gets it out. Robinson doing the safe thing. We're going to move the ball across the field in their own 20 meter area and Saints going in quickly. Smothering and slow behind the play of the ball. Wigan suffering, I think, from the injury to Martin Dermott. He's not very much in the game. Must be suffering from the bad knock he took. He was out for a long time. Cowie now. Using brute force, gets cut to the ball. Wigan panicking a bit. Going round and decreasing circles. None too well organised at the moment. Comes to Cowie, Cowie's running at the defenders, gains a lot of ground, taking them with him before he swung round and down, and that's five tackles gone. They're going on to Edwards, Edwards going to put the kick in, going out to the Riley wing, and Riley takes it immaculately, Riley running it out, and he's smothered on the Wigan defender. Gary Connolly takes up the action half-back position, he gains 15 metres further towards the Wigan line. The party out to George Mann. To the party, as a first division player of the year, the only ever present in the same side this afternoon. And John Neal going without the ball there. Knocks it forward. That's Mr. Andy Orton of Featherston. Please enjoy your scrum with a Wigan feed. Or a mistake there with Saints on the attack, John, and it's going to be uh, Wigan ball. And Wigan's ball it is as uh, Edwards loses Potica, goes round the opposite side, running very wide, bringing Parra back down the mirror, Parra still going, Parra taking them on, a good run by Parra there, after uh, Wigan seemed to get confused, the fire moving it inside, as Wigan go powering the way forward now, and we've got the wrong man there really behind the play of the ball, we've got a, a fire's acting half-back, robbing it across the field, and with nobody out on the left wing to finish off, as Parra turns back inside. Wigan still pursuing down that left wing, keeping the ball alive. Wigan with an overlap and they drop the ball. All their eagerness. There was a gap, Philip Clark couldn't take it, and there's a Saints player down, Ronnie. Yes, looks like Gus O'Donnell, uh, John, but a three man overlap there, Wigan would have had, wouldn't they? Quick hands there, moving it quickly, the idea was right. But obviously, as far as the Saints are concerned, the end result was right as well, with uh, Clark dropping the ball. But it's Gus O'Donnell. So, trouble with his right leg there. So, it's physio Jeanette Smith treating him. Also, she's treating uh, David Lane as well. He's taken off. It's going to be a scrum down with the Saints' speed. And Saints looking for the uh, first Premiership trophy win since uh, they beat uh, Old Kingston Rovers 1985. Malmeninga. Instrumental in that game as well, so it's winning 36 16. Wigan victors over the Saints last season in the same competition, 48 points to 16. And said Saints was uh, looked at well in with a shout for about 50 minutes, and then Wigan just run out. But Saints looking to make amends this afternoon, and plenty of time left. Only uh, six minutes gone in the second half. Four points to nil the score. Anybody's game is John Griffiths is uh, limbering up on the touchline, uh, ready to be introduced into the action. It's John Neal, but the uh, board is there. John Neal going to be substituted. He has been uh, carrying a foot injury as John Neal. And there'll be a bit of a reshuffle in the same tracks. Now it's Chris Joint. Good play from Joint. Gets the ball away to Nickel. Back to Cooper. Into space to Sage. Lachlan. Out to Hunt. Had to take it well. He had to stretch, I should say, but he took it well. But excellent tackling there. 
Jason Robinson comes in, man and ball, forces Hunt back, yards. And Aguirre with a grubber, finds touch, just evading the canopy, and he finds touch, 10 metres from the Wigan line. Well, it's a blood bin replacement with John Nickel. Uh, uh, John Griffiths going on for George Mann. It's, uh, I think it was a blood bin. It looks as though the uh, thing, the cross had been uh, held up. The substitution for St. Helens, number 14, Jonathan Griffiths, replacing number 10, George Mann. Must be a straight substitution there, and it's Wigan Ball. Wigan to come away from their own 20 metres. Edwards going across to act in half back. Edwards moving it across field and Wigan forced back in the centre. Good running down the centre of the field. Potica made some telling runs this afternoon. He's very penetrative. And that's a typical prop forward stuff coming at them hard. Game simmering at the moment, not really on the boil. Philip Clark running into the defenders. Both sets of the defence is very strong. And turning and twisting, not going down with the ball, and eventually Saints say you're going to die. Long one to Edwards, Edwards moving it across. Wigan coming down the middle, there's a gap there as it turned back inside, still going. Can't keep the ball moving, flung it away, comes to Edwards, that was flung anywhere. Wigan keeping possession, and Edwards puts in a tentative kick. Robinson's up there, he followed it, but Saints get the possession. John trying to come through. Philip Clark hanging on to him. And he has to go on the halfway line. But it's Clark and Skerritt combined to bring Chris Joint down and Saints back in possession. Alan Hunt looking to penetrate the Wigan defence. Russ O'Donnell wants a quick play of the ball. Wigan urged to get back onside. Now it's John Neal, he's driving the ball up. Just a double stepping up as acting halfback. Saints 30 metres from the Wigan line. John Griffiths brings it on to Tia Rapati. Good sidestep from Rapati. He gets it away to Dwyer. Dwyer scampers through again. Good yardage by Dwyer. And Saints putting Wigan under a little bit of pressure. Shane Cooper attacks in half. Saints move it right. Rapati trying to get all through. The last tackle of the sequence. Gus O'Donnell well positioned. But Saints take it out blindside. Chris Joint chips it through. Is it all on? Wigan have the ball. On their own line there, it looks like Cowie in possession, John. A little bit, bit, bit like that ball there. The ball was up in the air and bouncing about. Wigan now with the graft of bringing it away. Edwards handing it on right in front of the post. Philip Clark trying to knock them down. Good tackles coming to take him. Wigan coming through from acting half back and not gaining a lot of ground. And Fyatt is who comes in. And we're going to thin on the ground, and that's the way the ball goes out towards the left wing. Went back inside, ball's all over the place. We can get it going. They got the rub of the green there. Ball being thrown anywhere by Wigan. There's no organisation at all in this. Just being thrown away. No pattern, they dropped it. And Saints having to go in for the line. Saints going for the corner. And the hell just shot. Yes, Gary Connolly picked the ball up well, but as John said, Wigan just throwing it anywhere and an ideal chance for the Saints now. Can they squeeze in? Looks like Gus O'Donnell in possession. Five metres short of the line. Sonny Nickel going on a run. It can he squeeze in? Solid Wigan tackling, hold him out again, right in that far corner. Saints will have to move the ball right across here. Quick hands, but an awkward pass. And Saints losing yardage. A bad ball, a real bad ball there. And Saints losing about 20 metres. Griffiths at dummy half, on to O'Donnell. Out to Rapati, he sees the gap, good ball to Lachlan, but he drops it. Rapati tidies it up. Panica, Panapa came in for the tackle. But uh, Lachlan complaining about the pass. It had to be quick hands, that was the order of the day, John. It didn't come off, and it's now going to be a wooden feed. There was panic in the Wigan ranks there, they were not passing it, they were just throwing it anywhere. And they paid the price for it, St. Helens almost squeezed in, and they threw a terrible pass out, which let them down. Robinson's going to get crunched. Wigan seems a bit 
not knowing what they're doing at the moment. Botica settles it down a little bit. Missing the old head of Bell in the Wigan side as the captain. Philip Clark now decides he'll try and be Wigan's saviour. And the fire comes up, moves it inside. Wigan driving out of trouble, but still pinned in their own half. And Wigan not knowing what they're doing at all. Referee says it's gone back. And Wigan playing very poor football at the moment. The anchor men not doing what they should be doing, making terrible mistakes. Wigan kick it on the last tackle, coming to Hunt on his 20 metre line. Yes, Alan Hunt gathers it. Breaks out of the first tackle, gets the ball away, tidied up by Lachlan. He sets off on a good run, stretching those big, powerful legs. Even though Wigan are men down, if the Saints come up there and press them, as Griffiths chips it through, can he win the chase for the line? Yes, Griffiths is in! No, he's not. The try's not given. The touch judge has said the ball's gone into touch. But he'd hard luck there, John Griffiths. He kicked it through, took Wigan on, and very unlucky there, John. Well, Saints have Wigan completely demoralised. And if that had gone in, I feel it could well have been a panful to Saints in this second half. Wigan got the break. A fire's on the inside. A fire running into trouble. He's still going for the corner. Fire still going. It's going. And he's lost the ball. What's the referee giving the 20 metre? Well, a fire should have been in, and this is end to end stuff. You know, John, I just can't understand this fella. He's obviously the fastest in the rugby league, but he uh, he doesn't have to do some poncing about. And he kicked it through there, and uh, instead of uh, running on his own, you know, he had two clear chances. Oh, well, Saints there making a complete hash of it at the play of the ball. O'Donnell playing the ball, Alan Hunt couldn't take it, and Wigan back on the attack. I don't know what's happened to these two teams. They look like lads who've never played before. Both sides handling is appalling. Now Wigan turning on some pressure as Far Clark takes it over the 20 metre line. But Wigan really nearly scored that after some Saints had nearly scored. Edwards, can he get some sense into these players? As it goes out and the ball's gone astray and Saints have it. Yes, Saints back in possession, but. Uh I think he's given an offside decision. Looks as though he's given an offside decision there. And here's George Mann ready to come back on. It was uh, it was only a blood bin substitution that before. He's been off there and uh, Wigan back with Botica and he's gonna have a goal for goal, John. Yes, quarter an hour gone, four points to nil. Wigan desperately needing points. Well, it looked all over a try for Saints down this left wing here. They lost possession, Wigan surged down their left wing, and it looks like a fire would get in at the corner, and Felton should have got in at the corner, didn't do the right thing, and uh, Wigan flinging the ball about anywhere, without purpose, get a penalty on the 20 metre line, about 10 metres in from the touch line. One thing he's got to do is make sure it goes dead and it doesn't go over. Wigan here with a chance to get two points on the board. Botica subject to a lot of chai hiking. Cool, calm, deliberate. And misses it. He can go in the same class as Lachlan. So drop out from the 20 metre line. Touch judges on. Think a substitution being made, George Mann. Going on, uh, John Neal coming off. Well, Botica doesn't usually miss those. Long one coming to Aitchinson. Sits up nicely for him. Aitchinson standing in for Hampson. Runs into a brick wall, 10 metres from the halfway line. Clark trying to take them with him. And it's Robinson coming up to act in our fight. Dermot's not really in this game as the Wigan forward come carrying in.
We're going to come in hard down the middle. Causing a little bit of havoc in the St. Allen side. Fighting to be acting half-back. Clark gives a dummy. And he's caught from behind in the fifth tackle. Now it's Wigan's turn. Edwards holding his pass, timing it. Going off the ball. Sends a long one out. And Farrah drops it. Referee giving the knock on. So it will be St. Allen's to play the ball. Yes, Edwards moving well, trying to drag the six defence in. They give a good ball out. Well, of course, the Wigan player couldn't take it cleanly. He's not forward. And that was the turnover. George Mann back on. John Neal has been uh, substituted. It was a blood bin with uh, John Griffiths going on for George Mann in the 47th minute. But uh, when George Mann had been patched up, they decided to bring John Neal off. Saints are in possession. This joint driving it forward. Saints missing a few uh, regulars with Kevin Ward, Tony Sullivan. Sullivan's got uh, ten selectors, I believe. Big John Harrison and the uh, Les Clerks out. Wigan, they've all got uh, Captain Dean Bell out. Thompson, Lydon, Platt, Betts, Lucas and McGinty. All household names, they are all out this afternoon. But the uh, standings are doing well. And Saints in an all-win situation. They're expected to beat Wigan with uh, seven uh, so-called internationals out. But at present, it's only four points to nil and Wigan are in possession. Wigan now bogged down in the middle of the field, keeping the ball going. Holdsworth could run. Cowie tearing down the field. Cowie looking for support. Nobody with him. And the referee giving a penalty to Wigan. Fence in the tackle. This could put Wigan in a strong attacking position. Edwards. Edwards going to kick the top. Wigan now on the 20 metre line. Martin Dermott coming into the game. Big forward taking them on. Inside. Wanting it on the burst. And his feet go from under him. Right in front of the sticks. Wigan doing the switch of direction. It comes to Edwards. And Wigan goes for the line. Hell, the yard short. And Wigan now hot on the attack. Really turning it on as it comes across the middle of the field and Sedge come out quickly. Good move by Sedge to Edwards. Edwards holding it. Edwards gives a short one. Turned inside. Wigan still going. Lobbing it out. Going for the line. Robinson's in. Wigan equalise. Wigan equalise. For sure, as he did in the last match. Going over in the corner. Well, we're going to have to fight hard for that. 20 minutes gone. Halfway through the second half. Forshaw finishes off the move. We're going to throw everything at them. Looked as if they'd wasted it. And Wigan, as ever, showing tremendous character after a terribly bad spell of awful football. Now, Botica. It's not been a kicker's day today, and Botica looking a bit shattered as he brings this ball back. Just uh, a metre in from the touchline. Scores level, four points each. And we have the father and mother of all battles here now on our hand, as Wigan have been underdogs most of this game, underdogs in the fact of the, the players and Tellings have always looked to have the edge, but Wigan clawed the way back, Forshaw battering his way in at the corner when all looked to be lost. That was great finishing by Mike Forshaw. And Vanabotica. Could this win the Grand Slam for Wigan? He's kicked a tremendous number of difficult goals this season. There's none more vital than this one. Ball pointing towards the post on the 20 metre line. One meter in, Botica, cool, slowly, icily cool, and it looks a good one, and it's in the upright. Well, both sides are in the upright. So now we've got a real battle for the next 20 minutes. A great effort by Botica, but uh, nothing for it. So, level pegging, four, four.
Absent. Prepared to kick off. Well, that's a put to new strength into the weary Wigan legs. And it sits up nicely eventually. Looking over the last kick. Walking to drop there. And the ball's been lost. Referee says it's gone backwards. As Saints get possession. Yes, Saints uh, fortunate there with Gus O'Donnell knocking it back. He forced back and knocked it back. But the try there, far sure. Well positioned, no danger about that. But two, uh, at least two forward passes in the movement. And the final pass from uh, Edwards uh, to far sure. A yard forward, but the referee didn't pick it up. He's allowed to go on. Scores all level. We've got uh, 22 minutes gone in the second half, so 18 minutes to go. Still, uh, anything can happen as Tira Patty breaks diagonally onto Lachlan, inside to Cooper. Onto John Griffiths now, moves it over right. Mike Riley coming in. Saints within 20 metres of the Wigan line on the last tackle. Gus O'Donnell with the drop. And it's there this time. Gus O'Donnell with the one pointer. And John McDermott saying it was touched. Well, it wasn't. O'Donnell there. With the uh, drop goal, kept his composure on the last tackle. Edges Saints into a 5 4 lead. And that's Gus O'Donnell's uh, eighth drop goal of the season. Obviously, all points are valuable. Alan Oy, if the boot was on the other foot, John Morney. He'd probably have uh, Joe Lydon, prolific drop goal exponent, uh, looking to score at every available opportunity. But Paul Lockman flicks it up off his boot. Drives it to the 20 metre line. Takes in the lead by five points to four. The same score as it was in the Lancashire Cup final. But it was Wigan that came through on that occasion. But if it goes to the end of the 80 minutes and it's still 5 4, that'll do me. There's no danger about that. Saints spreading it. Goes to Donald again. Good yardage. 10 metres short of the halfway line. Saints in the lead, five points to four. 16 minutes of the game remaining. And Shane Cooper taking the ball up for the Saints. As John was saying before, a lot of handling errors, but uh, a quite steady stream of rain coming down, and obviously it'll make uh, handling conditions awkward. It'll be like a bar of soap out there. The ball kicked downfield, touch bound, the scrum to be formed 10 metres in and 10 metres from the Wigan line. Wigan to feed, the score 5-4, back to you, John. Well, Wigan must have been open for the hand of Maradona there, as that drop, but it was a clean drop goal. It was a good, good effort by O'Donnell. Edwards to feed, referee sorting out the front row, removing the position, Edwards has it. Holding Wigan down near the Wigan try line. Long one by Wigan, testing them, bringing it over the 20 metre line. And it's going to finish up in tops. Well, a fire again, John. He's, uh, well, you say he's no football brain. I don't think he's got any bottle, John. But that's uh, three occasions now, and he doesn't seem to know what to do with it. But anyway, not to worry. He was forced into touch, solid Saints tackling, came in and closed him down. Saints have scrum possession. Second scrum of this second half against uh, five the Clean Hills by Wigan. So Saints now with an ideal opportunity to uh, have a platform to build on, but solid Wigan tackling, forcing Saints back. Bernard Dwyer now making forward yardage, three Wigan players in the uh, tackle. Trying to go for the Saints, uh, it's uh, definitely needed as George Mann builds up ahead of steam. John Griffiths is out wide, he's gone on the dummy runner, it's Chris Joint drives for the line. Good run by Joint, inside to Connolly, Saints spread it quickly. Cooper has possession, moving over to the right, Riley can he squeeze in? Solid tackling there, excellent tackling on the far side. But Saints spread it quickly, John. But excellent tackling by Wigan this time, forcing Riley into touch. Saints in the diving seat at the moment, though, hammering away at the Wigan line. 
one point lead for them the point which they feel at the moment that they, they deserve but, uh, this game can go either way it just means a storming break and uh, can be like a fire was the speed and uh, Wigan with it from the scrum referee going to give a penalty I think it's a long way off from us and it's a penalty to Wigan in the scrum give them a bit of relief top sound Wigan still a long way to go they're on the own 20 metre line not being able to dent the St Helens back really they're going to have to be done through the backs I think as it comes to Philip Clark he's one who can and has done this afternoon they've been coming round the narrow side Popper could bring him Panapa into the middle Panapa buried and the ball's gone out of his hand the referee says play on it comes to Saint yes Saint uh, putting pressure on Panapa he tried to release it it hit a Wigan hand, it bounced forward. Jonathan Griffiths at present in uh, possession, with Shane Cooper attacking half. Sonny Nickel moving it forward. Solid tackling by Wigan. Cowie in there, uh, along with Clark. Saint looking for another forward charge, and Bernard Dwyer. Bernard Dwyer moves it forward, going on his own. Cooper had moved up inside. And whether he knew he was there or not, I don't know. But Saint now pressing on the Wigan line, overlap on the left. Chris Joint up to Griffiths. It's tidied up by O'Donnell. Is he going for the one pointer? He is. He makes sure, puts pressure on Wigan. O'Donnell with another one pointer. With 12 minutes to go to the final hooter. Six points to four now. The game quickly restarted and Connolly threading his way through. Held down 20 metres, uh, 10 metres short of the halfway. 6 4 the score. Six building up, but it can only be made safe with a try and a goal as George Mann powers his way forward. Lachlan with only one. Uh, well, looking for his first goal, obviously, um, Lachlan missed three. Try by Connolly, two O'Donnell drop goals against a four-shot try. One uh, conversion missed by Botica, but it's Chris Joint. Exciting young player, burst through. Well, second tackle there coming in by Wigan, by Cowie, but it's all right this time, isn't it? As Lachlan drives back into the Wigan defence, last tackle of the sequence. O'Donnell's well positioned again. He's going for the other, is he? No. Moved it to the right. Rapat is going to run it. Chips it for the corner. Will we're going to have to kick it dead? No, it runs dead on its own. But it's Saints putting all the pressure on. Thought they might have gone for drop ball again. Wigan play it quickly. And Robinson comes away with it. Well, these little kicks through are very difficult to get right because the in goal area seems to be the minimum size. The middle of it area to put the ball into referee going over is it a fire who's down that's his tired and i think a lot of these players out there are extremely tired it's been a hard tough bruising battle every man's played his heart out uh, wigan gonna have an awful job now pulling this game out of the uh, fight uh, andy para He's struggling a bit on the far side of the field. Referee saying, get on with the game. As he comes back and says, 10 metres. And Gildart warming up on the sideline. Wigan lost the ball. Up to Saint. Saints attacking hard and it slipped. Yes, Luke Wigan losing possession. Chris Joint running hard. The ball the way to Sonny Nickel, let's see this lad go from a standing start, watch him power forward. Wigan under pressure now, let's go, uh, push back, should have been a penalty that, can we pushing him off, as O'Donnell goes for the line, is he in? No. Well, we thought he'd scored, but the ball sped right across the line, Lachlan backing into the defence, still pumping those legs, Wigan defending well. Trying a goal for the Saints here, he'll sink the pie eaters. Now it's Cooper, 
Long to Rapati. Oh, lost his footing. Gets up, goes again. It's the last tackle now. Will Sage run it. They bring it left. Griffiths chips it. Well, Griffiths looks as though he was impeded a little, but the ball went dead. Referee Oldsworth's not having any, and Wigan making a double substitution. Wigan ringing far off and putting Guild out on. And Cassidy coming back on as well. Farron, Farrell off. Gildart. Gildart coming on. Wigan with it. Skerritt having to come off. Yeah, Skerritt looking a bit weary. He's had a hard, tough time out there. Build up, getting into the game, early doors. Dermot not made a run this afternoon after his bad thump. We can turn it back into the middle. Bottica dancing his way, knocking them off. Bottica eventually can't get out of the grasp on his legs. Clark, Clark handing it on. We can come in hard down up to the halfway line. That five tackles gone. Comes inside to Edwards. Edwards hoists a high one. Having a little lie down after the tackle, we're going to up quickly. Edwards decides he's getting up. Saints back on their own 20 metres. Philip Clark rolls over. Six or seven minutes of this game still to go. And the, the points difference is not big enough to say that any side is safe. Only needs one flash of brilliance, and the whole tenor of this game could change. But uh, we've not seen a lot in the way of brilliance this afternoon. It's been hard graft, grinding away at the game, using the strength, using the power, and at times, bit of a juggle with the ball, got the rub of the green. The Saints are keeping the ball alive, and Saints are through. They hand it on, going for the line. Did a grubber kick, chase to the line, and he's not done short of the line. Well, that was a let off for Wigan. The kick threw Adam in all sorts of trouble, and inches from the line, the ball was not forward. That would have been the nail in the coffin. Wigan then back in their own 20 metres, moving it across. Edward switches direction. Gonna need a fresh pair of legs, one field to do something here. A fire coming up, whacked in our pack. No room for him to do anything from there. And he gets his 10 metres and he's lost the ball. Saints going for the line, turning inside. Well, a fight. It's Riley now for the Saints, putting pressure back on Wigan. Sonny Nickel from acting halfback, trying to squeeze in at the corner. Edwards over the top. Connolly just missing out seconds ago. Trying to drive it forward. Wigan moving up quickly. John Griffiths going for the corner. Held down short again. Tremendous tackling by Wigan. But it's Saints in possession. Moving it along the line. Quick hands. The order of the day. Good hands. Rapati. Lyon. And Lachlan. Lachlan Dean. And Lachlan raises his arm. And puts the Saints further in the lead. By ten points to four. With only five minutes of this final to go. Well, after a, a host of sustained pressure by the Saints, he finally cracked the Wigan defence. Two occasions in the top corner, Connolly went short, Griffiths went short, the ball spread along the line, it had to be moved out along the line, and Lachlan finishing off with only his fifth try of the season. Remember, he's been out for six months with that uh, arm injury and he was just having it treated only uh, seconds or, or minutes before he scored from Saints physio Jeanette Smith but Lachlan there edges the Saints out into a six point gap ten points to four the score and if Lachlan can pop his first one of the afternoon over I think it'll be curtains for Wigan so it's Lachlan now only what you could say five metres in five or six metres in He's 25 metres out from the uh, line. 
and no goal more important than this. Let's see if the big fella can pop it between the sticks. He's not been able to this afternoon. And that's on its way, is it? Oh, just shaving the right-hand post. So 10 points to four. A converted try. The uh, score separating these two sides. And three minutes to the final hooter, plus any stoppage time between Wigan doing the uh, Grand Slam and uh, Saints being the party poopers. The Saints faithful at the Stretford end, jumping with delight. Wigan kick off, Saints have possession. Captain Shane Cooper, who is telling his side, keep just uh, calm down, just play the basic rugby as Bernard Dwyer breaks through. And the way Saints have been attacking, why shouldn't they score anymore? Only had two scrums in this second half against uh, six of Wigan. As George Mann bursts through. Good driving by the Saints. Got to take Wigan off the guard as Gus O'Donnell chips it. Clark puts it back. And Wigan come through with it. Good break by Aitchinson. Big full back. Took it well. And Wigan in possession, John. Yes, to a dying half for Wigan as Coway turns back in the centre, keeping it alive. Wigan going straight down the middle of the field. And last ditch effort needed here. Hardly been in the game for the last quarter now. They've got a little switch of direction. Being held, wounded out wide. Panther bringing Robinson inside. He has his ankles tapped. And the fire's over on this wing and he's lost possession. The referee says it's a knock on. I don't know who he's going to give the put into. The hand goes out to tell inside. Yes, Robinson, I think it was coming through, and he must have knocked it forward. Saints come up with the ball, but the referee, uh, on uh, guidance of the touch judge, said that it was a scrum down with a Saints feed. John Griffith was there at the scrum, and Saints are in possession. Time running out for Wigan. 39 minutes on the watch, plus any uh, stoppage time, Saints with a 10 points to four lead, as Tierra Patti drives it up to the halfway line. Well, Chris Joint, winner of the Harry Sunderland Trophy for the man of the match in this afternoon's game. In the dying seconds now of normal time, 10-4 the score. Edwards now pumping the ball upfield for a fire to chase. Saints come up with possession. Mike Riley did well, comes away. Brought down just outside his own 20 metre line. A good tactical ploy there from uh, Wigan with Edwards punting the ball upfield for a fire to uh, hopefully follow up. But he's not been much cop all this afternoon and uh, well, why should he start now? John Edwards with 46 tries for the season, looking to increase it. Obviously, Paul Newlove is the leading try scorer. Scored two this afternoon, making it 52 as the game stopped. And Saints uh, player injured as Saints, the Saints physio Jeanette Smith goes over to, uh, to treat him. It's only the third uh, time that these two sides have met in the Championships and Premiership final. With Saints winning, uh, well, Saints winning, yes, I should say, 1971. 1971 season, beating Wigan, the only time they were defeated. 12 points to six, Saints were losing with about four or five minutes to go, and then the two tries by Blackwood and Benjamin, brilliantly goal by Cosley, and Saints won the trophy 16-12 on that occasion. Last season was a disaster, as I've said before, 48-16 Wigan uh, running out winners, but they're not going to lift it this afternoon, are they? Well, the ball's lost, but it has gone back. It did go back, much to the uh, dismay of the Wigan... Uh, Spectators, but Sonny Nickel gathered it. Saints have possession. Cooper chips it to that bottom right hand corner. Doesn't find touch, but a fire comes up with it. Oh, a loose ball there. A loose ball by a fire, John, and you nearly got to your bottom slap then, didn't you? You nearly scored a try then. Well, nothing's gone right for him today. Jason Robinson shining out on the other wing. Crowd hooting, thinking it's time. As we come into the last minutes, onto a fire, fire hands it on. Wigan surging down that left wing for the kick through and the chase. 
sent to their foot. Ball's gone loose and rolled away. Referee will give a knock on or an offside. So it's a penalty to Wigan in the very last minute. Taking the quick tap, moving it inside. They've got to get a six pointer if they're going to do anything as Cowie goes forward. Can't see Wigan really pulling this one out. Wigan now, this is the last ditch effort as Red Edwards turns it back into the middle. A long, high, wide pass coming out. Wigan going now, keeping it going. And the smothered. Desperation tactics here as Wigan fight for the grand slam. Poor play of the ball. Edwards hoists the kick out to a fire and it goes straight to a sixth player. Yes, Mike Riley took it well as the fire was steaming through and Riley now on his way. Three minutes of injury time or three minutes of stoppage time we've played. Saints in the lead, 10 points to four and just looking to slow the game down as they have possession. Alan Hunt loses possession. Wigan come up with it, and Alan Hunt redeems himself, and there's the final hooter. And the Saints have won the Premiership Trophy in 1992-93. They've stopped Wigan winning the Grand Slam by beating them in the Premiership Final, with Wigan already winning the Lancashire Cup, the Regal Trophy, the League Championship and the Challenge Cup. So the Saints must be delighted there. Chris Joint winning the Harry Sunderland Man of the Match trophy. A great win for the Saints. Phil Beaver's on there, he's not been used. But 4-0 at half-time with the duck try from Gary Connolly after loose play from Farrer. He was penalised. Saints capitalised on it. 4-0 at half-time. Then in the second half, it was 19 minutes before Farshaw went in for a try, even though there was at least two forward passes in the movement. But uh, referee Oldsworth allowed it to go on. Then two Gus O'Donnell drop goals within five minutes brought the Saints back in the lead by six points to four, or regaining the lead, should I say, with 5-4 and then 6-4, and then a Paul Loughran try five minutes before the final hooter. So Saints running out winners by 10 points to four, and they'll be delighted that they've been the party poopers on oh, the Wigan. Unfortunately for John Morney, he's not going out with a bang. Saints have won the first trophy of the season, as the PA just saying, and now they've won the last trophy of the season, winning the Premiership. And Kevin Ward there, uh, Kevin Ward, they all have done it for Wardy. They went to the touchline and brought him on, and he's very lucky there, Kevin Ward. He could have easily, easily lost his leg in that uh, horrific injury. And there's Kevin Ward. Well, I know the lads, if they could cheer him, if he was safe to cheer him, Ward, he'd be up on the shoulders, wouldn't he? They've done it for him, and he'd be chucked to bits, won't he? But he'd like to be out there and play with the lads. Tony Sullivan out there, he's suffering from tonsillitis, unable to play. Phil Beaver's not used, but uh, Saints uh, inflicting the first defeat on Wigan in a major trophy competition since 1984. Since they beat uh, Wigan in the Lancashire Cup, at, on their own bidding as well by 26 points to 18. But a great display for the Saints, and here's Shane Cooper leading his side up for the Premiership trophy. The first time they've won this trophy since 1985 when they beat Hull Kingston Rovers. A great performance for the Saints. And Shane Cooper up there receiving the trophy. He kisses it, raises it aloft, and he's a big grin all over his face. He salutes the crowd, and especially there as he uh, thumps the air down to Saints physio, Jeanette Smith. Tira Patty, he'll have a, a big beam on his face there as the trophy's passed back. John Griffiths, Gus O'Donnell, David Lyon all lining up to uh, accept this trophy and only a fitting end to the season for the Saints. They've worked hard, they've uh, played hard. Unfortunately, a couple of games that just uh, went amiss uh, for them, cost them the championship. George Mann back to Alan Hunt. Each and every man in turn passes it back. John Neal, a big day for this fella. Passes it back. Chris Joint, the man of the match, the Harry Sunderland trophy winner. 
Paul Lachlan now, Sonny Nickel, Gary Connolly, Mike Riley, and uh, Phil Beavers. All get the cup in return. And Saints will go round and do a lap of honour. There's Mike Riley, Phil Beavers, he didn't get used. On to Bernard Dwyer, Bernard Dwyer the last man with the cup. And here come Wigan now. Obviously disappointed, but not dismayed. And as I said before, Wigan obviously lacking seven the regular first teamers. It's, well, five that were long term injury. But that's just how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? A lot of these lads have been on tour. They play back to back rugby for uh, two years now. And it's uh, the old body, it just uh, won't take that constant pounding, will it? But. In the press, people were saying, well, it'll be a hollow victory for the Saints with the players being out and that, but I can assure you, Wigan just have the knack of bringing the talent through. The youngsters, they brought them through. They've all got first-team experience, but unfortunately, Saints were just too powerful today with Wigan having uh, the majority of ball from the scrub, but yet the Saints had uh, the uh, performance and the quality and uh, all the play, but to just it took time to penetrate this Wigan defence. Saints out there being bombarded by the press, raising their arms in delight, and Shane Cooper, the Saints captain, proud with that trophy. And won't the coach, Mike McLennan, he'll be chuffed a bit. Stopping on for another 12 months at Nosey Road, and the Saints there receiving the plaudits of the crowd. Wigan just going round, commiseration from their fans. But as I said, nothing to be uh, disappointed. Well, I suppose they're disappointed, but they've competed in an excellent Premiership final. Not the greatest of games, but uh, they all look out, don't they? Even if you win by one point, it doesn't matter. But Saints coming through, winning by ten points to four. As you know, through the season, Wigan very fortunate in the Challenge Cup at uh, Halifax, just scraping through 1918. As I said, these odd points. All count, but it's uh, Saints day today, isn't it? And they are out there, and instead of being the bridesmaids, now the Saints are the brides. The photographers all around them, Alan Hunt there with the trophy. And the Saints will be going around this old Trafford Stadium, doing a lap of honour. Well, John, you must be disappointed that it's uh, not been uh, got the Grand Slam, but uh, a lot of tired Wigan bodies this season. Disappointed, we have lost once before. I can't remember which century it was, but uh, we're used to losing, and uh, there was no doubt which was the better side on the day. This afternoon, we've seen the creme de la creme of rugby league, a game that has been thoroughly enjoyed by a great crowd of spectators here, and I've no doubt been enjoyed on Sky Television. A wonderful ending to the season, the best of rugby league, the two best teams without any doubt, put on a tremendous performance and uh, John Morley may be a little bit disappointed and I'm sure he'll go home having had a great four years in Wigan and I've no doubt that when these two teams meet again next season it will still be hey lads hey and not a hearth red between them as these two great teams provide the crowd with so much pleasure and so much entertainment. Ronnie? Nothing like a Saints Wigan derby. It's been going on uh, for years, hasn't it, John? I think even before you was born, and that's saying something, isn't it? That is going back some years. But the Saints going round there, uh, the Wigan uh, public have asked that that's the uh, end of the ground. But you've got to take defeat, haven't you? I mean, we have been used to taking it. But it's nice to see uh, Martin of Fire still on the pitch. Usually, uh, after he gets beat, he reckons he uh, can't take it. And he usually takes his ball and takes his hooks, doesn't he? But he is actually on the uh, pitch. Sean Edwards leading his troops round. They'll be bitterly disappointed. Obviously, they would have liked to do it for the self, the great team of Wigan and uh, the coach, John Morley, but it just wasn't to be. The tired bodies uh, couldn't take it anymore. Saints have uh, come out to victors. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm ecstatic. 10 points to 4 is the winning margin as Saints take the cup round on the far side, they'll do the lap of honour and as they get to the Stratford end where most of the Saints uh, 
Well, uh, not most, I would say a hell of a lot of the Saints spectators are amassed. They'll get an almighty cheer as they take it round. You've been with the uh, Micron video in conjunction with your Saints video. The match obviously being shown on Sky. But uh, your own club video has actually secured a space here and uh, done the job. I'm sure the uh, Wigan spectators will be uh, very pleased, but uh, the Saints, uh, Speckies will. For an end to the season, Saints beating Wigan in the first uh, cup competition of the season. The Charity Shield, 17 points to nil, and uh, running out winners here at Old Trafford this afternoon by 10 points to four. The Saints side take it in turn, going round, uh, raising the trophy aloft. And a great win, and considering Lachlan was off with his uh, goal kicking, wasn't he? He missed uh, four, four goals, and all in the kickable position by uh, Lachlan standard. So you're talking a uh, possible uh, 19 uh, uh, points to uh, eight. Could have been the final score if all the uh, goals that had gone over. It would have made the scoreline look a bit, a uh, little bit more healthier. But Ten points to four is the final score. One point between the sides would be uh, quite sufficient, I think, for either time. They, they, either team, they would have took the spoils. But Wigan, they was going for the Grand Slam. The five trophies in the season. They had to make sure that they didn't get it. John Morley going home after a successful four seasons here at Wigan, where he's won everything. Saints have been the party poopers, and Saints now approaching the multitude of fans at the Stretford end, and some just spilling over onto the field. They'll be delighted. Quiet. They mob onto the field to mob the favourites, and no more pleased than uh, the old uh, battle axe. Oh, I shouldn't say battle axe. That's a bit rude. That's more uh, for mother-in-law's that, isn't it? But the old war horse, Kevin Ward, he was uh, brought onto the field, and they'll be uh, delighted. There's no danger about that. Nice to see him back on his feet after that uh, terrible injury against Wigan in the Good Friday game, the 8-8 draw. But Saints there at the Stretford end, just being robbed there as the photographers go round, all the spectators going round. A lot of uh, bodies coming on the field now, and no doubt the stewards will be on to try and move them. Obviously, it's just uh, over-exuberance there by the fans. And with a lot to crow about, I mean, when you beat Wigan, you always like to get on there and get in, uh, in the action. And we've had plenty of action this afternoon, John. We've had three excellent finals, haven't we? Uh, Warrington beating Hull, 12 9 in the uh, 19 12 in the academy. Featherston beating Workington, 20 points to 16 in the divisional premiership. The Saints beating Wigan, 10 points to 4. David Lyon there being mobbed. And uh, even though the weather's not been kind to us, we had a, a quite entertaining game of rugby, some end to end stuff. And with two teams like this, it's just the mistakes you're going to be capitalised on. We've had a streaker to boot, and that poor lad, whoever he was, whether he was a, whether he was a pie eater or whether he was a centenary, John, uh, John McDermott from Wigan seemed to think he came from Tatooine. I don't know about that. But anyway, he'll have missed the celebrations unless the police have been kind and let him uh, put his togs back on and get into the crowd. But the Saints coming round again, just in front of our advantage position here. Delighted there with the win. They lift the Premiership Trophy the first time for eight years and beat the old enemy in the process. They gave us here leading the team as they come back. Chris Joint there, the Harry Sunderland Trophy winner. And all the Saints come in there for a well-earned bath. And uh, the final match of the season and no doubt there'll be a few pints up tonight. Well, before the game, we'll be getting on Sky. Steve Hall with the Sky Sports, he tipped with them for the trophy. Obviously, we want the one all season. In the, uh, the Daily Mirror this week, Alec Murphy tipped the Saints. That's usually the kiss of death, isn't it? If Murphy tips you. But players still being mobbed on the pitch. Excellent win by the Saints, 10 points to four.
Gus O'Donnell there, he's been cheered off right below us. There'll be a lot of uh, drinking in the town tonight, won't there? I'm glad the, the throats stuck up to the task of this afternoon. Very uh, bad to the end of the week, suffering with the flu and uh, bad throat and that, but after some intensive treatment, courtesy of uh, Bell's Whiskey and Beach and Powders, we've got through the match today. Tate's coming off with the uh, Stones Bitter Premiership Trophy. Gus O'Donnell being cheered uh, He's turned round, waves it into the crowd. And the Saints spectators, ecstatic. They left the Premiership Trophy, beating the Wigan here at Old Trafford. And Sonny Nickel there being lifted, cheer lifted there. He can't get off the field. Popular figure Nickel put some good driving runs in this afternoon. There's the captain, Shane Cooper, just being greeted there by a Saints fan. The Saints make their way down into the dressing rooms for a well earned bath. A lot of bruised and battered bodies. But on this occasion, Wigan just couldn't withstand the storm. The attack from the Saints we went down in the Premiership final, 10 points to four. And we look forward to the start of next season's competition with 16 teams in the first division. And the final score here, as Sonny Nickel tries to wrestle out of the grip of the Saints spectators. Sonny Nickel making his way there to the tunnel. Finally breaking through the last man, I think, off the pitch. And Saints go in. The spectators cheer the Saints after one by ten points to four. Tries from Connolly and Loughlin. Two of them have got one. Saints ten points. Four shot tries to win. Final score ten points to four. Thanks for joining the pinch with Micron Video and John McDermott, the Saints video myself from who equally delighted. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next season. It's only going to be a couple of, about two, two and a half months. Let's uh, get back in action. Saints winning the Premiership Trophy, ten points to four. <laughs>